everybody, this is Kelly with Luminary Nail Systems, and today we're going to be doing a gel manicure using Harmony, and we're also going to show you a little bit of art in this video. First, I want to show you the starter kit, and this is Harmony, which we're going to be using in this video. So first is the 10 ml of color, which is an absolutely gorgeous bubblegum pink. Also included in your starter kit is our top coat, which is called Empower. As well as a five gram jar of Harmony, which is the same exact product that is in your polish bottle. And so you guys are aware, this only comes in our starter kits and is not available for purchase otherwise. In the video, I'm also gonna be using our primer, which is called Commit, that does not come in the starter kit, but you can definitely order it separately. So let's get started. First, we are gonna cleanse the nails with 99% isopropyl alcohol. And if you guys are interested, you can check out our prep video, and I will link it in the description box below. After you've cleansed the nails, we're gonna move on to the primer, which I did one coat on all the nails here. All right, so now we're moving on to our very thin base coat with our polish bottle. So first we're gonna push back those cuticles. And now I'm going to apply a really thin coat of Harmony. You guys are gonna see that in this video, I'm only showing you one hand. Usually I go back and forth between each finger um, into the light and then she hands me her other hand and then back in the light. So we're just going through one hand. So thin coat, push back those cuticles on all five fingers. So after all of those fingers have been cured for 30 seconds, we're gonna open up our little jar of Harmony. And we're gonna get ready for our builder layer. So I'm gonna push back those cuticles. I'm gonna apply a really thin base layer. And this is just another technique that you, can, you guys can use other than the melting. This is sort of a melting method, but it's a little bit different. You're not turning your client's hand upside down in this video. So we are applying that really thin layer, dipping into our pink jar, putting a dollop of gel at the cuticle, and just sort of pulling it down. And then make sure that you drag your product exactly where it needs to go. And this eliminates turning your client's hand upside down if you can get this, get this right. So make sure your line of light is good. Check all angles and put them in the light. Now the cure on this layer, it's a builder layer, so it is 60 seconds. And remember, your really thin layer is 30 seconds. So again, after this really thin coat, we're gonna grab our dollop of gel 
Make sure it's really nice application at the cuticle and drag the right side forward and then the left side forward. And just make sure that you're leveling your product. All, everything is covered so you don't have any divots. Now we're on the thumb and just make sure when you're finished with this really thick layer, builder layer of gel, that you put the thumb in by itself upright or else you're gonna have gel that has seeped over onto the side of your client's hand. All right, so we're all cured. Now we're going to take away that dispersion layer and get ready for filing. So I like to turn my client's hand this way so I can make sure that I get all of her nails even and uh, straight from, from pretty much from her point of view. So on this step, I'm using a 150 grit file, if you guys were wondering. I've also been asked by many people why I file afterwards and don't do it before I apply the gel. For me, it's definitely a preference. Uh, it does not have to be done that way, but it actually helps. As you can see here, I kind of bevel that free edge. So it does help if your clients are, are lifting at their free edge, if you sort of bevel the product and their nail together. Also, if I have like a little bump on the side, right now I can take that away without having to finish file the whole nail. If I'm gonna put gel polish on, it actually makes for a cleaner look. Alright, so we finished filing and shaping, 
And now we're gonna move on to a little bit of art. So we're gonna do some marbling and here I'm gonna use balance. So I am going to apply a really thin layer of balance on top of harmony. Then we're gonna take presence and put a little bit on our detail brush and just kind of drag it through that wet layer of balance. And this is just creating some depth for our marble design. It really lets that product melt into uh, the other product, presence melting into balance. So now I'm taking a white art paint, which is highly pigmented. So it's just gonna give this design a little bit of dimension. Just kind of blend it into all that wet, the wet layers that you have. And you can see that I'm trying to like smush it around and move it around just so it doesn't look like a perfect line. And now I took a little bit of our top coat and power and I'm just dragging it through to kind of separate some of those lines and make some dimension. All right, so we are gonna cure that for 30 seconds. And when she comes out of the light, I'm going to apply another really thin layer of balance. And again, I'm trying to go for some dimension in this nail. All right, so now that I've laid down that really thin layer of balance, I'm just gonna grab uh, any kind of, you know, a glitter that you have or that you like and just lay that into the wet layer and just sort of spread it around those lines. And I know it's really hard to see in this video, uh, but the white is very like multi-dimensional and that glitter just, just adds a little bit of fun to it. So now we're gonna cure that for 30 seconds. And on this nail, I decided to take that same gold glitter and just give her a nice coating on her pointer finger. So I'm really trying to push back that cuticle so I can get that glitter color really close. And then we're gonna cure that for 30 seconds. And then on the second layer, I'm gonna push back the cuticle and I'm gonna lay down some of the product at her cuticle. I'm gonna take my detail brush and really push it into those areas that I couldn't get with my polish bottle. All right, so now I can go back to the brush and just, just bring all of that glitter forward. All right, so let's cure that for 30 seconds. And now we are ready for top coat. So again, I like to push the cuticle back before every application. So I'm gonna do two fingers at a time here. So starting with the pinky, gonna lay down a thin layer of Empower and I kind of dip back into the bottle and sort of float it down the nail. We're gonna cure those. A flash cure is fine, so then I'm gonna go over to the other two fingers. And again, the reason you guys are seeing just a couple of fingers done at once is because I'm just working on one hand and I'm not do doing a whole manicure here. All right, so it's flash cure. Then 
I'm going to get the gel on her thumb. So after we apply Empower to the last finger, we wanna make sure to cure the gel for 60 seconds in an LED light. And if you are still using a UV light, you can do two minutes. All right, and there is the finished design. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the reason that we do these videos. If you have any recommendations for future videos, please let us know in the comments below and we'll continue to bring you amazing content. I hope this video helped you guys and if it did, please give us a thumbs up, share this with your nail tech friends, subscribe to us, follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook.